Beyond Vaudeville program with your host, Frank Hope, and your co-host, David Green, Billy Barty, Donnie Whitaker, raconteur Leonard Trago, Chairman Steve, and Joey the Monkey, and lots and lots more. Okay, uh, thank you, David, for uh, reading the credits, and uh, welcome once again to the Beyond Vaudeville program. Uh, this is a, uh, a very, uh, very exciting show for us today because uh, we have uh, two uh, uh, legends uh, in the uh, entertainment industry, uh, and uh, uh, one is really a legend because he's uh, uh, he was born in 19. Uh, 24. I hope I'm allowed to say that. Uh, and uh, and uh, the other is a younger legend. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get to that uh, without uh, further ado. In fact, because I, I, we want to get to everybody. So uh, let's please welcome uh, the the older living legend, uh, Mr. Billy Barty, please. Hey. Okay. Uh, Hi, uh, everybody. Hey. How you doing, Mr. Barty? Pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, uh, oh, you want me to? Your microphone. You there. Go ahead, you pin oh, me. Oh, thank you. This is an honor, uh, Mr. Uh. Barty. Uh, it's an honor just to have you here. Uh, this is a very uh, exciting. Uh, oh now, boy. now do you know why I asked you? Oh boy, I think it's a. Uh, hey, look, oh, you oh, there we go. oh, you got it. You got it. Okay. Uh, now uh, this is a very uh, exciting to have you on. Mr. <laughs> Barty. Uh, <laughs> thank so, you. Uh, you've um, uh, you. I read somewhere that you got your first job by uh, spinning on your head. Is that true? Uh, that, that's correct, Frank, yes. Wow. Uh, and uh, it was um, the year, I'm not afraid to tell, you know, what the hey. Right. So About two years ago, uh, no, no, it was uh, 1927. Wow. My dad was carrying me in his arms in front of Selznick Studios, and uh, they were filming outside, and he said, Billy, go over and see the director and do a head spin. And I did it, and the director liked it and put it in with a movie. And the rest was uh, history. Uh, and the rest is a long time ago. Now, you uh, you did the... Uh, oops, I dropped my microphone. I'm having a terrible problem yes, with I the did. microphones today. Yes, I did. I did the... Uh, now, you did the uh, uh, Gold Diggers, uh, 1933 uh, right. Gold Diggers movie. I did right. the Gold Diggers in 1933, uh, and we did Footlight Parade. Uh, the Gold Diggers was with Ruby Keeler, right. Joanne Blondell, Dick Paul, and a cast of hundreds. Wow. And uh, yeah. now, uh, and also, I will get to the more recent stuff, but I'm interested in the older stuff, too. Oh, naturally. Uh, good. You, you did a show, The uh, Pet Parade, right? Uh, your Pet Parade your on TV? Your Pet Parade on TV. And we did a number of shows on TV. Uh, but, uh, yeah. so, but you were doing the TV in the early, in the, in the 50s, right? The yeah, I was back here doing the uh, Ford Festival with James Melton, and I did about, I don't know, three months of uh, uh, Milton Berle, you know, the Texaco Star Theater. And we did a uh, Jackie Gleason show, right. and, and well, just a whole bunch of them for about two and a half years. And now uh, Beyond Vaudeville. Uh, oh, right. What? And now you're doing Beyond Vaudeville. Uh, oh yeah, right. I, I think. I now I'm doing. doing yes, I'm doing <laughs> okay. this great show, Beyond Vaudeville. Right. Uh, okay. Now, uh, um, I, one of the uh, you worked on a lot of the uh, Sid and Marty Croft shows, and that's why you were in town uh, with that. Uh, we were in town right? uh, promoting Johnny Whitaker and I, and also uh, quite a few other people promoting uh, the uh, shows that were shown on uh, Nickelodeon, right. Nick at Night, and it was like a, a, a puff up palooza right. And it was from, like, ran from uh, 6 a.m. at night to, no, 10 a.m. at night to 6 in the morning, and it was like bringing back children's television shows. With all those great cinema. And boy, do we need to bring back children's television shows, right? right. Yes. Okay, David, you listen to Mr. Uh, Barty. Uh, huh? No, yeah, okay. no, he's fine. He, he, he behaves, sir. Yeah, well, I know he does. Okay. He, he's, now you yes. uh, uh, now one of the uh, How guys. How you lived in Washington D.C.? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm now, sorry. You worked uh, one of the uh, uh, with on a lot of the uh, Sid and Marty Croft shows with the uh, Felix uh, Sia, right? The, the late. Uh, oh Felix yeah, I Sia. knew Felix. Felix is a good friend of mine. Right. And, and I did quite a few. I did. You know, I was uh, Sparky the Firefly, right. Segment of Sea Monsters, uh, and then uh, we did the the uh, uh, the Bugaloos, naturally. You know, and and Puff and stuff with Jack Wild. Uh, right. It, it, it was a, a fabulous experience. Did you do the uh, Lidsville program too? Or? No, I didn't do uh, the Lidsville. Not that one. No, okay. no, I I was on tour at that time. Okay, but you did. <laughs> you worked with the uh, Bay City Rollers show too, didn't you, for a little while, or, or no? Is that? Uh, no, I did. Oh. I don't think. If you say so, maybe I did. I don't know. Uh, I've done so many things in so many years, well, you know. Um, now I brought some photos along. Uh, oh. Uh, maybe we can show uh, now this. Uh, 
was a, a, a weird one. I think uh, was this this was uh, the rabbit test uh, movie, right? With uh, with uh, the Jimmy JJ uh, guy. Uh, Holy Toledo! No, I don't, don't remember that one. Or, or ah, that's great. <laughs> okay. And, oh uh, yeah. And then this. The uh, Godmothers. Oh, that was right? fun. That with the great uh, Frank Fontaine. Right? Yeah. Uh, right. Oh yeah. Right? Fabulous. It had a great cast: Jerry Lester and, and Mickey Rooney and. And Frank Fontaine. And then uh, this uh, was uh, with my, my favorite talk show host. Uh, you know, a lot of guys were inspired by Johnny Carson, but I think Mike Douglas was really top. Mike so. Douglas was just a beautiful man. Yeah. And he, in fact, he was around uh, one of the first, I think, you know, talk show hosts. Right. Uh, along with probably Steve Allen used to do a radio show out of uh, CBS. Right. On Sunset. Uh, Boulevard, CBS, yeah, and it was just fabulous. And now, but now he just plays golf most of the time. I hear that's that's uh, Mr. Douglas. You're Douglas. right. You're just that, about right. Okay. In tennis. In tennis. Okay. And now you do you play? Uh, you have a golf tournament, right? Uh, uh, we'll be celebrating my 23rd annual Billy Barty Foundation golf tournament. Wow. Uh, this coming up uh, November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Okay. And if, if you want to be a flag boy, come on around. Oh, boy. Uh, I wouldn't touch it, Mr. Barty. Uh, no, I don't uh, mind. Okay. Now, um, now you uh, uh, came along, you mentioned it, with the, uh, uh, with the Croft people, and, and you did... Yeah, Sid and Marty Croft, who, to me, are geniuses when it comes to putting on children's uh, TV shows. And they've done a lot of other things, too. Right, and, and quality stuff, not like the, the punching and all the fighting uh, sh stuff they well, have now. Well, right? you know, I'm very involved in promoting the TV shows of yesteryear to bring them back today because look at who the heroes are. Right. They're monsters, they're robots. Right. You know, the old days of, you know, when we used to have all the, the nice people that the kids, you know, they could communicate with. Right. Except for uh, Witchy Poo, she was mean, right? Uh, yeah, but she was a cute mean. She was a cute mean, that's right. <laughs> right. Uh, now, uh, now we do, uh, we want to bring out uh, our, our next guest so we can all uh, be together here. And, all uh, right. And also from the uh, uh, Croft family, uh, 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 we want to welcome uh, the great uh, Mr. Johnny Whitaker. Hey, Johnny. Hello. 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 How are you, Mr. Whitaker? Hey, hey. hey this, these guys are so cute. Oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you do? After, what is this, afternoon or, or what time is it? Uh, morning, so morning. nowadays. Oh, we're morning. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Welcome. No. Uh, is now, this the Johnny Whitaker show? Uh, well, it is now, I Why guess. Why not? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm teasing, teasing, teasing. Uh, Now, um, Mr. Whitaker, I brought along a copy of a uh, 16 magazine from... Uh, from, uh, uh, and they lie. A All few they years do is ago. lie. Is this, are these lies now? They have you at your house, they said. And they had you with a giant fish that they said you caught. Yeah, that's true. I did catch the giant fish. You did count that fish? And, and they have you with a scout handbook. You were a boy scout? I was scout. a boy scout. Okay, so on far. My honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country. Wow. To obey the scout law and something else. Okay, yeah, that yeah. sounds pretty serious Watch to me. Something else. <laughs> and and uh, now they have you also. Uh, now they said you used this typewriter to send letters back to people. Was that true or too? Or? Um, gosh, that's really cute. That's a long time. And that's my <laughs> Jow dog. Your dogs? Yeah, they have your, two of your dogs here. Yeah, that was Jow. Jow. My, my, my initials are J O W. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, you really shouldn't touch him, Mr. Whitaker. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, now, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. I re I'm really very sorry. Um, okay. Uh, now, uh, now, actually, you two have something in common in that uh, Mr. Whitaker was a Mormon uh, missionary, uh -huh. right? And right. you have a son who was a Mormon missionary. I have a son right? who spent two years in Brazil. Right. He's now going to the University of Utah. He'll be graduating. It's Bra Braden, Braden Barty. He'll be, gra you know, we couldn't have two Billy Bartys in the world. <laughs> uh, one's enough. And, right. he's, and he's a big boy, too. Yeah, oh, he's he, six foot tall. Oh, okay. But he knows who the boss is. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> and and, and you were... Uh, I was in Portugal. In Portugal. Yeah, the, he was in the Brazilian side of the Portuguese-speaking countries, and yep. I was in the Portuguese side of the Portuguese-speaking countries. Okay, okay. And and now, uh, now I of course, uh, uh, you did the uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters together, the right. two of you. Oh, yes, right? definitely. And we spent three years. Right. And we did... Three wonderful uh, years. Yes. Right. And it uh, was lots of fun working with Billy, day in and day out, and uh, Mary Wicks. Right. We also had uh, Margaret Hamilton on our show. Right. Um, we had a good cast. And just a great cast of people. And, and, and you must have been able to learn a lot from Mr. Barty, uh, being you were younger. Definitely. And, uh, right. Definitely. You can't, I mean, king of show business. <laughs> right. 
and now, but you, of course, you, you were also, uh, I, I brought a photo from uh, the, the great uh, family affair. Oh, which yeah. You were on. And uh, this was really uh, one of my favorites, uh, Mr. Whitaker. I thought it was so, uh, so uh, entertaining, this program. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, um, uh, now, do you stay in touch with uh, Sissy? Are you still? In oh, yeah. Kathy and I, um, we've done some of the uh, memorabilia shows together. Okay. And uh, so we keep in contact. Actually, I just saw her um, on the 9th of September. We had the Young Performers Committee. Uh, the, na the first national conference on the young performer that uh, took place in Los Angeles, California, and I'm one of the spearheads of the of the committee, the s committee spearheads for Screen Actors Guild, and it's um, the committee specifically set to benefit former young uh, young performers oh. who uh, are now, you know, grown up, and it's not easy being a kid actor, right. and uh, you have to deal with a lot of problems in your later years and there's a lot of things that you don't get when you're a child but that was the purpose of the conference was to uh, and Billy Barty has been working since he was three two years old three, three. three years old like me wow. right yeah and um, so it's difficult to be a uh, uh, a kid actor but uh, some of us make it and unfortunately some of us don't well it's it's very uh, you turned out to be a very uh, admirable uh, uh, young man uh, well, mr. Whitaker I think and uh, um, and that that really does uh, say something because a lot of those other kids he's really, a great uh, kid he's great a great kid, kid. okay yeah, they, well, I just, we I had more fun on uh, on our segment of the sea monsters right and uh, now uh, now you also uh, mr. Whitaker on the first uh, Dick Sargent show on the bewitched uh, is that right uh, I, I saw I forget which, the, he was the second one, right? The second one, yeah. yes. I no, was. I wasn't on it. No, you were You pointed to me. I'm sorry, Billy. He said you was the second one. You, oh, I wasn't was. even the first one. Me? No. Who's on first? Oh, boy. I, oh, I, I, I didn't I don't know. get you two fighting. I, I, we're not fighting. Okay. We're friends. Okay. Well, that's no. right. Oh, oh boy. No, oh, yeah, hi. yeah. I, did, I, I was very lucky because I got to, my agent had me, I was every young waif in every... Western <laughs> that was on Bonanza, right. Lancer, Gunsmoke, v Virginian, and I always played the young waif who didn't have a parent and all of that. I got to play with some wonderful people, Ellen Burstyn in Waste, which was a two-parter Gunsmoke, right. and um, then I also did Bewitched with uh, um, Dick Sargent, and I played uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. And, and also uh, all those Disney movies you did. Uh, right. After Family Affair, because right. of the work that I did while I was doing Family Affair, right. I was blessed with the opportunity of continuing working in the, the industry that a lot of kids aren't. Now, were you, su uh, were you surprised that Jodie Foster uh, went on to do the, uh, the movies that she did later on? I had no doubt after she kissed, after I kissed her, first time on screen. See, oh, this, really? I oh, kissed wow. Jodie Foster for the first time on screen. So women, see what happens after you kiss me. Wow. <laughs> two, not one, <laughs> two Academy Awards. Wow, that's uh, quite a tip for the uh, ladies there. That's right. <laughs> uh, now, well, if you'd like to win an Academy Award. <laughs> uh, now, uh, now, you both uh, worked with so many great uh, people. And um, uh, Mr. Barty, I was very intrigued. You worked with the Red Fox comedy show for a while, right? With I, the, I did the Red Fox comedy show. Red Skelton, while we're on the breads, right. and uh, Red Skelton's comedy show, right. uh, Gee, many Christmas. And, and also, and, and Spike Jones uh, many years ago. Eight right? years, yeah. I was with the wonderful conductor, the great Spike Jones, and the, and the crazy uh, city slickers, the band that played for fun. We had uh, Miss uh, Kay Ballard on the program. Who oh, yeah. she, she's, boy, she's a classic. Yes, yeah, she was a very, I love uh, Kay. classy lady, uh, we yep. thought. Uh, uh, well, now we have a, uh, a friend of the show who wanted to come out and do a uh, medley of uh, Croft uh, songs uh, and as a little tribute. And uh, please welcome Mr. Austin Velez. Uh, well, wow, hi, Austin. Thank you. Thank you. Your microphone, on, Mr. Velez. And this is a medley of the uh, Sid and Marty Croft uh, yes, songs. Yes, it is. You've got to get in your light, my friend. Back here. Thanks very yeah. much. Yeah. We, we need you to get in a good light. Okay. Okay. Thank you, yes. Mr. Whitaker. <laughs> See, I'm a director, too. So, yeah. This man's a total professional. What hey, of course. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. HR, puff and stuff. He's your friend when things get rough. HR, puff and stuff. Can't do a little because you can't do enough. HR, puff and stuff. He's your friend when things get rough. HR, puff and stuff. Can't do a little because you can't do enough. Living 
in the land of the lost living in the land of the lost Lidsville is the cool cool cookiest Lidsville is the kick a kickiest Lidsville is the groove groove grooviest Lidsville is the living and friend if you get a chance to go go there you'll be glad you did cause everybody who goes to Lidsville really flips his lid hoo 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 now how's that for a topper hoo 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 Okay. All right. Hey, hey. wonderful. Hey. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, bye. Wow. All right, that that boy. I, you're gonna go far. Did that bring back some memories for you? Oh guys? yes. Okay. Wow. All right. R r remind I, remind me to make sure that we uh, change the words to those songs. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, now. Uh, and get some get some some music next time. Uh, well, we yeah. have another. What? 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 Gee, you, you've never heard anything like that before, have you? I hope I never do again. <laughs> Well, you should listen, uh, Mr. Velez, because uh, uh, Mr. Whitaker is actually a composer, right, of songs, and uh, you, and he would know, he has a good ear for that. So No, he did a wonderful job. Okay. I'm, yes, I'm, you did. Okay. You're going to go far. Now, uh, uh, now we also have... I don't have know a, where uh, going to go far. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have another uh, gentleman that wanted to uh, perform for you, too, as, oh, as, great. A, fa as a, a special treat. Yes. Uh, uh, and we want to welcome Mr. Srago uh, to the program. Srago? Uh, Mr. Srago, is he still here? Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Hi, Mr. Mr. Srago. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Hey, good, good, good. Pleasure. Wait. We, uh, yeah. Oh, here's the microphone. Mic. There, there you go. Yes, it helps, really. <coughs> Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her little dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and the little dog had none. Old Mother Hubbard. Went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare. The little dog had none. <laughs> oh, mother, oh, mother. <laughs> went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare. And the little dog had none. <laughs> Old mother, oh, mother. Went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare and the little dog had none. Ah, oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. <laughs> and when she got there, the cupboard was bare and the little dog had none. Oh, Mother Hubbard! Went to the cupboard, get a little dog a bone, and when she got there, the cupboard was bare. The little dog had none. <laughs> Old mother, a bird, <laughs> went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone, and uh, when she got there, the, the cupboard was bare, the little dog had none. <laughs> Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. And when she got there and the cupboard was bare, and the little dog had none. <laughs> Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get a little dog a bone. And when she got there, the cupboard was bare. The little dog had none. Uh, it's a hard out lawn, Michaels. Frank Pope saw me first. Good night. Hey, wonderful. Wonderful. wonderful! 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 Very nice. Uh, yes, yes. Bending over with talent here. Uh, oh, talent original, guy. original. Uh, Originality, I talent. That's right. Wonderful. Fantastic. Very good. Thank wow. you. Excellent. Okay. I appreciate it. Remind me to tell you about an agent I know. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Wow. This could be uh, good for I, your I, career. I'm looking to be rich great. and famous. I'm tired of being poor and obscure. Okay. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, boy, maybe uh, the Crofts could do a whole new show with all of us here, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, well, uh, now, um, uh, we, we do have uh, one other uh, guest. Is this, is, uh, this, is this a relative of Puff? Uh, oh, it looks a little bit like Puff and stuff, yeah. I guess. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, uh, now, uh, uh, we, we do have another friend uh, that we wanted to bring out, uh, just so we can uh, uh, be, uh, be ready to talk a little bit more here. Uh, but we want to introduce uh, our good friend, uh, Joey the Dancing Monkey. Is he, uh, is he with us? Uh, there's Joey. Uh, hi, oh. Joey. Oh, all right. Okay. Hello. Yes, yes, doing? yes. I, I know. Uh, he, he's he's uh, related to um. Uh, 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 yeah. 
Hot dogs. Is that no, from uh, right, right there. Uh, um, yeah. Land of the Lost. Stinky. Oh, I see. Amazing! What? Wonderful what? 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 Work. What? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Excellent. Uh, thank you very yes. much, uh, gentlemen. Uh, now, uh, now, Mr. Whitaker, you speak uh, five languages. Is that right? Yes, I do. Okay. And uh, could you say uh, um, uh, something to us in, in a different language, maybe? Um, well, I can uh, sing a song from uh, the Cape Verde Islands. Oh. Okay. Ben flanco zen fazebu. Quem bora tchê minha camisa? Se pediu boca te dá, se toma de boboca pa pa pia. Se de boboca bocheu, se de bobo quem puder. Ai, dá uma camisa nobre, sinal, boca cheia de bo. Ai, hey. dá uma camisa nobre, sinal, boca cheia de bo. Nha, nha, ma camisa nobre. Nha, 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 camisa nobre. Nha, 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 camisa nobre. Nha, 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 camisa nobre. Bem clanco zen fazebo. Wow! Hey, that's great! Hey. Wow, that's that fantastic! That was really something. Now, 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 tell me what you said. I see the Cape Verde Islands oh, okay. are a small group of islands off the west coast of Africa. It's a small group? A small group of I islands. I should visit there. Yeah. Oh, right. boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, and the song is about, you stole my new shirt, and so I'm mad at you. Come bring my shirt back. But if I go and tell you that, that you stole my shirt, you're going to tell me that you didn't steal my shirt. So you're just going to make a big deal. Ah. And, and I don't want to get mad at you, so just give me my new shirt or give me the bucks that it costs to get a new shirt and everything will be fine. Wow. Well, you see, uh, there's an educational program as well as entertaining. Uh, of course. Uh, well, I I, everybody else was doing something. I mean, <laughs> come on. Fabulous. Okay. I no, wanted to get fabulous. some air time too, you know. Uh, now, we have one more guest we want to bring out to uh, uh, treat you with a special uh, poem that he's written for us. Uh, the uh, Poet Laureate of uh, Greenwich Village, Mr. Chairman Steve. Oh. <laughs> Microphone. Uh, okay. Here you go. You gotta, yep. If we have time, I can add a, a little nursery rhyme. I'll start with modern day Cinderella. The evidence was clear as day. 100% not guilty was OJ. The prosecution's case was split. Release OJ, the gloves don't fit. But Marsha Clark refused to budge. She firmly stood before the judge with orders from Sandra O'Connor. Let's see if the gloves fit your honor. He restrained himself and never kissed her. He knew she was the, an evil stepsister. And sure as marriage goes with love, Judge Ito's hand went in the glove, a development that made him wince because he had to marry the prince. Said Johnny Cochran to Judge Ito, we crush you up like a mosquito. 
And then the judge cursed like a tr trucker. Cochran, you were a cockroach. He was the loser of the game. A hanging judge, Ito became. I could even have time for a little nursery rhyme. Um, uh, well, uh, actually, we're running a little uh, short, uh, Chairman Steve. Maybe you hey, could please just... Please don't say that. Maybe, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Marty. Uh, uh, maybe if you could just have a seat, uh, uh, Chairman Steve. That was a very nice... Uh, very good, very good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, now what's, uh, is there anything uh, special we should look out for uh, coming up uh, with, uh, with you, Mr. Barty, or uh, you... Uh, well, yeah, there's a possibility. Uh, I'm working on, uh, I've done my one-man show. I put it together. It's a 90 minute uh, for the stage. And uh, I think that uh, live entertainment is back. After all, you know, all these great stars are, are, are coming back again, you know. Of course, they never left, but uh, Tony you. Bennett and... Mr. Set, Red Buttons. I Mr. Like Red Buttons, right. right. He just played the theater here. Right. He's a good friend of mine. Right. In fact, Red, Red and I did uh, Fantasy Island together. Oh. One of the funniest episodes. He and I were trying to take over the island from uh, uh, Ricardo Montalban and, and Hervé Velazquez. Oh, wow. And we didn't, as you know, because the show continued. Wow. <laughs> Without wow. us. Wow. Now, I, that must have been something you and but, Mr. But I, no, I'm, I'm doing that, and I'm hoping in about uh, eight months, my autobiography is coming out. It's not a short story, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> and, uh, okay, and, and Mr. Whitaker, you're, uh, now you're working with computers now or something, right? Well, I work in the uh, interactive area in the entertainment industry, okay. and I have my own computer consulting business, right. um, and uh, I'm also a director and writer, mm -hmm. and uh, get some work done in L.A., but uh, enjoy it, keep it busy. I also have an import-export business with my friend uh, in Paris, who is also from Cape, Cape Verde, wow. and that's where I learned that song from. Well, uh, you, do you import shirts, or, or that, that? Stolen shirts. Stolen shirts, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, everything's coming together. Uh, David, do you have anything you want to contribute today, or? Uh, Okay, I, I, maybe not. And I, I see, Mr. Strago, you were smart not to sit right next to David. You just sat yes, a chair away. Yes. And uh, anything uh, coming up with you, Mr. Strago? Well, uh, I, I don't know. There are there are things I'm kind of working on. I'm, I'm I'm a bit into computers myself. I, uh, as a matter of fact, after the show, I'm going to our meeting. I'm a member of NIAC, the New York the Computer Amateur Computer, and I, I do some work with that. I'm out at the part of their speakers bureau when they have their. Uh, uh, their uh, uh, big festival out in New Jersey, right. and uh, so I've, I've done stuff and uh, working, of course, with faxes, you know. Okay. Well, and maybe so uh, Mr. Whitaker can come to one of your computer meetings right. sometime. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. Fine. And uh, and uh, Chairman Steve, uh, any uh, final words from you? What we'll 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 to the nursery rhyme? Okay. Pussy well. cat, pussy cat, where have you been? Under her window to peek at the queen. Pussy cat, pussy cat, what did you see? A big tweedledometer, fat tweedledee. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, So uh, we want to thank you uh, for watching the Beyond Boardroom program, uh, and thank you all our great guests, uh, Mr. Barty and Mr. Whitaker, and thank uh, you, and, thank uh, you, Mrs. Strago, and and of course the chairman and Steve all these lovely puppets and the puppets. Yeah. Uh, uh, so th thanks for watching. Lovely and, uh, human being.